Hello everyone, how are you today? I am your teacher Jem Raymond and today we will discuss the what I can do part in your quarter 2 module 1 in mathematics 6 entitled relating fraction and ratio. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Tutorial by Sir Raymond. My name is Mr. Jem Raymond Ischen, Master Teacher 2 from Escalante Central Elementary School. Click like and share if this video tutorial helps you. Don't forget to click subscribe below to keep updated for my future tutorial. For your suggestions, especially on the topic for my next tutorial, please leave your comment below. Hope you learned something in my video lessons for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Stay home and stay safe. Again, this is the what I can do part of your quarter 2, module 1 in Mathematics 6. Work on each set of tasks. Letter A. The volume of water in battle A is 7 eighths of the volume of water in battle B. Number 1. Draw a model to compare the volumes of water in battle A and battle B. So we will use black model to represent the volume of water in battle A and the volume of water in battle B. So for battle A, so as you see, we have seven blocks to represent the volume of water for this battle. And we have eight blocks to represent the volume of water for battle B. Number two. Find the ratio of the volume of water in battle A to the volume of water in battle B. We are asked to get the ratio of the volume of water in battle A and to the volume of the water in battle B. So the first quantity we have here is the volume of water in battle A. And that is, yes, that's 7. And how about the volume of water in battle B? Correct. 8. Yung 8 natin dyan ay ang ating second quantity. So, the correct answer for number 2 is 7 is to 8. That is the ratio of the volume of water in battle A to the volume of water in battle B. Number 3. Find the ratio of the volume of water in battle A to the total volume of water in two battles. So, again, the first quantity we have is the volume of water in battle A. But, for the second quantity, we refer here to the total volume of the two battles. So, to do that, we have to find first the sum of the volume of battle A and battle B. So, we have here 7 for battle A and battle B is 8. So, 7 plus 8 will become 15. Very good. So, the volume of water in battle A is 7. So, that's 7 is to 15. Very good. So, 7 and 15 cannot be reduced to lowest term because these numbers don't have common factor. Or except for 1, of course. Number 4. Express the volume of water in battle B as a fraction of the total volume of water in both battles. So the first quantity here is the volume of battle B, and that is represented by 8. Very good. How about to the total volume of the water? That is 15. So 7 plus 8, di ba? So, ang tamang sagot for number 4 ay 8 over 15 or 8 15 because, because you are asked here to find the fraction. Letter B. Ramona scored a total of 18 points in 20 item math test. So, 18 ang correct answer ni Ramona. So, may dalawa siyang mistake sa test niya sa math na up to 20. So, number one question. What is the ratio of the number of correct answer to the number of incorrect answer? Give your answer in simplest form. Ngayon. Ang first quantity natin dito ay ang correct answer. At yung pangalawang quantity natin ay ang incorrect answer. So, the number of correct answer of Ramona is 18. Correct. 
And how about the incorrect? Yes, that's two. May dalawa siyang mistake. Pero, hindi pa ito ang final answer natin. Kasi, we have to convert this to simplest form. And to do that, kinakailangang kunin natin yung greatest common factor nilang dalawa. Ano ba yung GCF ng 18 at saka 2 dito? Yes! 2! So yung 2 na yan, class, ang ating magiging divisor. Hahatiin natin yung dalawang number na, na to sa 2. 18 divided by 2 and 2 divided by 2. Okay? Para maging simplest form sila. 18 divided by 2 is 9. Very good. How about 2 divided by 2? Very good. That's 1. So, ang ibig sabihin, ang ratio of the number of correct answer to the number of incorrect answer of Ramona in her 20-item math test is 9 is to 1. So, ibig sabihin, in every 9 correct answer, Ramona has 1 incorrect or wrong answer. Number 2. What is the ratio of the number of incorrect answer to the total number of test items? So, ang tinatanong dito, class, ang incorrect, yung first quantity, at saka yung total number of items, ilan ba lahat yung test items na kinuha ni Ramona? So, para magawa natin yan, alamin natin ilan ba ang incorrect or wrong answer ni Ramona. Yes, 2. Very good. How about yung total number of test items? Ilan lahat? Correct, 20. Yung 2 natin dito, yung first quantity natin, kasi siya yung unang ibinigay sa ating statement dito. Yung 20 naman, yung second quantity, kasi siya yung pangalawang ibinigay sa statement. Ngayon, is this the final answer? No, hindi pa. Hindi pa yan ang final answer kasi... Meron pa silang common factor. Yung common factor na yan, class, ang gagamitin natin na divisor. No? Para maging simplest form ang ating answer. So, ano yung GCF nilang dalawa? Yung 2 at saka 20. Correct. 2. Yung 2 na yan, i-divide natin sa 2. At yung 20 na yan, i-divide din natin sa 2. 2 divided by 2, how much? Yes, that's 1. How about 20 divided by 2? Correct. That's 10. So, ibig sabihin, 1 is to 10 is the correct answer. Or Ramona has one incorrect answer for every 10 item test. Number 3. What fraction of the total number of test items is the number of correct answer? What is our first quantity here? Yes, yung first quantity naman natin ay ilalagay class ay ang total number of test item, which is 20. Very good. How about yung second quantity? Correct, the number of correct answer. Ilan ba lahat ang correct answer ni Ramona? 18. So, ibig sabihin, 20 over 18 or 20 18. But, this is not yet the correct answer because we can still find their GCF. We can reduce this to lowest term. By dividing this by 2. Very good. 20 divided by 2, how much? 10. Correct. 18 divided by 2? Correct. 9. So, ibig sabihin, 10 over 9. Or, pwede mo din naman yung gawing mixed number, that makes it 1 and 1, 9. Since we are talking about fraction and ratio here, so let us leave it that way. So, that's 10 over 9 or 10, 9. Letter C. One third of Buse's money is equal to one fourth of Diwa's money. Number one, find the ratio of Buse's money to Diwa's money. So yung one third na yan class magre-represent natin dyan ay three. At saka yung money na money Diwa dyan ay magre-represent yung four. So ibig sabihin, we have Buse's money is three and Diwa's money is four. So the ratio of Buse's money to Diwa's money is three is to 4. Number 2. What is the ratio of the total amount of money to who says money? Magkano ba lahat yung money nila? So that's 3 plus 4. That's 7. Very good. Yung first quantity natin dito class ay 7. At saka yung who says money naman ay 3. So ibig sabihin, 7 is to 3 yung final answer natin dito. 
hindi na ito ma reduce to lowest term kasi wala na silang common factor except sa 1. Number 3, what fraction of the total amount of money is Diwa's money? Ngayon naman, total amount of money, pero yung second quantity natin dito ay Diwa's money naman. So, meron na tayong total money na 7, and then 4 naman yung money ni Diwa. Okay, so this is the final answer for number 3, 7 over 4, or 7, 4. Number 4. In a box, the number of square is 5 times as much as the number of triangles. And the number of circles is 4 fifth of the number of squares. So, ang ibig sabihin nito, class, for every 1 triangle, merong 5 squares. Okay? Pero, in every 5 squares naman, meron namang 4 na circle. So, let us draw first a model to compare the number of squares triangles and circles. Kasi sa problem dito, class, hindi directly ibinigay ang number of squares, triangles, and circles. You have to analyze, of course. So, for the number of squares, we have 5. So, 5. Pero, yung triangle natin ay isa lang. Diba? Now, how about yung circle? Very good. Apat lang yung circle. So, that is how we draw the model for this statement. Number two, what fraction of the number of circle is the number of triangle? First quantity natin dito class ay ang number ng circle. At yung pangalawang quantity naman ay ang number of triangles. Pero, isusulat natin sila in fraction form. Okay? So, yung numerator natin ay ang number of circles. Ang denominator naman natin ay ang number of triangles. So, ang ibig sabihin, we have four over 1. So, that is the fraction form of the number of circles to the number of triangles. Four circles in every one triangle. Letter D, number 3. Find the ratio of the number of squares to the number of triangles to the number of circles. So, we have 5, yung number of squares. Okay? Yung pangalawang quantity natin ay triangles. Ilan ba lahat yung triangles? Of course, 1. How about number of circles? Yes, 4. So, ibig sabihin, ang ratio niyan ay 5 is to 1 is to 4. For every 5 square, there is 1 triangle and there is 4 circles. Number 4. In its simplest form, what is the ratio of the number of triangles and circles to the total number of shapes? So, ang first quantity natin dito, class, ay ang number ng triangles at saka circle. So, pagsamahin natin sila. So, triangle is 1 and then circle is 4. That's 5. 1 plus 4 is 5. And then, to the total number of shape, ilan lahat yung shape? 5 plus 1 plus 4 is 10. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong 5 is to 10. Yung 5 is to 10 na yan ay magiging... 1 half as simplest form. Yan. So, 5 is to 10. Or, that's 1 half or 1 is to 2. I-divide kasi natin siya sa kanilang GCF na 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1 and 10 divided by 5 is 2. That's why, ang final answer natin dito ay 1 is to 2. Number 5. Express the number of circles as a fraction of of the number of shapes in its simplest form. So, ngayon naman, ang ating first quantity ay number of circle. Ilan nga yung circle? Correct, 4. Total number of shape naman yung pangalawang quantity, which is 10. So, that is 4 over 10. Or, pwede natin yang i-simplify to 2 fifth. Paano natin nakuha yung 2 fifth? Yes, i-divide natin sila sa kanilang greatest common factor na 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and then 10 divided by 2 is 5. That's why, 2 fifths is, is the correct answer for number 5 for letter D in your what I can do part. I hope it is now clear to you the relationship of fraction and ratio. Hanggang dito na muna ang ating discussion class. Till next time, thank you so much for watching. Keep safe, everyone!